I have been active in the field of advanced ceramics, in the development of ceramic materials uh, for various applications. Some are directly related to the energy field, for example, high temperature catalysis, and that relates to the development of uh, alternative fuels, and in particular, what we call as nitrogen-hydrogen alternative fuels. They're actually combinations of nitrogen and hydrogen. They're very similar to current fertilizers that are used commercially. These fuels are highly energetic. Any fuel is a highly concentrated source of energy. The challenge is how to remove or to lower any chances of an explosion, which is, which is possible, for example, we don't, although gasoline is explosive, we don't see cars, you know, exploding uh, naturally down, down the road. So the same thing will go to these fuels. But the, the, main, the main challenge with these fuels is how to utilize them efficiently. It means developing of the chemical reactor to carry out their conversion from a fuel to extract the energy out of that fuel. One of the key issues that has to be solved to make this, these type of fuels viable is developing the reaction conditions to enable us to burn them in a clean way. These kind of fuels, if used incorrectly, can generate pollutants. It is not so obvious how to utilize them. And one of the main efforts on my part is developing the right catalysts and the right reaction conditions to carry out these reactions both effectively and cleanly. The other challenge is how to design the engine in a way that that energy is used efficiently. Okay, so there is a, a shall we say, a chemical challenge on one hand, so that the fuel is burnt cleanly. And there is a mechanical challenge at the same time, how to convert that energy to power things like vehicles. If 